What's going on everybody? My name is Austin. You're back from Burger Gaming and we're back with another little short video. Um, just like how we did yesterday, so today it's will you press the button. Yesterday we did would you rather. So, I'm going to move this up a little bit. There we go. That should be better. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. So, first question is, every terrorist in the world dies. World peace forever, but the world becomes a perfect utopia. And the world becomes a perfect utopia. But everyone will hate you for no reason, exile you from society, and forget you exist. Hmm. Go away. Let's see here. Um. Hmm. That's a good one. Put my mic up again. Alright, so that's a good one. However, if it was a perfect utopia, it wouldn't make sense that they would hate me because in utopia nobody hates anybody. So, yeah, I'll press it. Alright, cool, cool. You can have the partner of your dreams, but his or her breath smells like shit and nothing can make it smell better. No. <laughs> Not happening. You can divide by zero, but every time you do, a cat dies on hor a horrible death. No! I love cats. I'm not gonna do that. Fuck you. You can eat your favorite foods for the rest of your life without gaining weight. You have por horrible, painful diarrhea three times a day. No. That's just dehydrating as fuck. No. You receive your own Pokemon, but so did your worst enemy, and you always have to lose to him. It's not worth the humiliation. I love Pokemon, but I don't want to lose every time. Okay. I'm, I, I don't know what's going on with this comment, so I'm just going to see if I can do that. Okay, yes, this this works. Now you can see what I'm looking at. You don't have to worry about the red mass comments. <laughs> All right. You can travel through time, but your lifespan is decreased by a year each time. Well, my lifespan is pretty much decreased by a year every time I smoke a pack of cigarettes. So, <laughs> nah, I don't want to travel through time. I'd fuck something up. Star in your very own TV show that will always get you great interviews and make lots of money. But that will be the only thing you'll ever do from the age you are now until you die. Hmm. So I'll never be able to eat, play video games, watch other TV shows. So, no. All right. You create a very successful Let's Play channel and make a living off of it, but you can only play horror games and you suck at them. I like horror games though. Even if I do suck at them. I love games like that. Plus I kind of do have my own Let's Play channel, so... Whatever. <laughs> Get 10 million dollars every year, but you can only use dial-up internet. Oh god, no. You figure with 10 million dollars you could buy better dial-up internet, but no. <laughs> Not happening. No homework ever, yay. But the time you should have spent completing homework will be taken up by watching My Little Pony. Oh god, okay. So I don't, I don't have homework to do anymore. But if I still did, I'd rather do my homework. <laughs> you have super speed, but you always have to be moving. Or what? Will I explode? Um, I mean, I'm looking at the comment right now. It says you you already are moving all the time. A heartbeat is a movement, which is don't text me, <laughs> which is true. So I mean, I'll press that button because a heartbeat is technically a movement. You get to live in your favorite video game, but you're trapped here forever. But this isn't my favorite video. Oh, trapped my favorite video game. 
That'd be a hard one. Because my favorite video game is either Madden or still one. I don't know. I got a couple of fun games I like to play. Um, Madden's definitely one of my top ones. I don't think I'd be stuck in that world forever. Even I can't play Madden for years on end, so I will not. Meet the love of your life, marry, and live the happiest life you ever could, but she dies 10 years before you do. Those 10 years are the loneliest you could ever imagine. Hmm. I'm... That's a hard one too. Shit, I think I'll press the button. I'll press it. A lifetime of happiness for ten years of loneliness. Whatever. You can see into the future and you see that your son makes ten billion dollars in the last ten years of his life, but he gets bullied until his until his last ten years of his life. No. You can fly, but just into the twin towers. Yeah, Sneak Hunts is too fucking soon. Forever too fucking soon. Yeah, that's too fucking soon. I will not. I see somebody else down here that says, No, it's not. It was hilarious. Plus, America deserved it. Fuck you. Epic. Segway man. Doing your bullshit. I'll kick your ass. <laughs> You control people with your thoughts, but you have three legs and five arms. You know how legit that would be? That'd be fucking legit. Like, you have, you have telepathy, but at the same time, you have three legs, which you could probably run faster depending on where they're at. And you're stronger by on your legs, because three is better than two. And five arms. You know how many fucking things I could do with five arms? I'm not going to go into that, though. <laughs> I'm pressing that button. The world will have peace and unity, but this is caused by common enemy. You. The world will stop at nothing to make you suffer. They won't let you die. Oh God. So the whole world will live in peace? To torture me? Uh, at first I'm like, fuck it, I'll become a warlord, but it says everybody hates me. So I will not press that button. <clears throat> You have the ability to cure any disease or injury in the world just by touching a person. So I'm Jesus. That's what I'm getting out of this. But every time you do, you must absorb their sickness or injury and live in it for 24 hours. Well, I mean, that doesn't seem too bad, though. I mean, it really doesn't because, like, you touch them and you take, and you take it on to yourself. But only for 24 hours. So, yeah. I mean, for 24 hours and then it goes away from you. That's a pretty good deal. I don't care what you're dealing with. I'll take that. I'll be Jesus. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Have x-ray vision, but you must squeeze lemons in your eyes to activate it. Is that how that works? Is that what Superman does or something? I don't know. Nah. Not worth it. My eyes are already shit. You can fall in love with the woman or man of your dreams, but your country leader goes crazy and leads your country and going into chaos, leaving you stuck there living the rest of your life in poverty. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, because love is love, poverty or not. You would have someone bring you breakfast in bed tomorrow morning. But you would lose your ability to distinguish colors. That's a definite no. I love the color blue. If I couldn't see blue anymore, I'd probably cry. You live forever healthfully, but in five billion years, the world, the earth will be swallowed by the sun along with all humanity, including you. You would burn and heal forever. Oh. And not to mention, like, that burning is said to be one of the most painful deaths imaginable, like, at this day and age. So, no. I will not. Fuck that shit. 
You gain the ability to manipulate and control the minds of others, but you will slowly lose the ability to control your own well-being. Well, I've already lost that ability. So I don't need to get any worse. Will not. You can change your voice so however you want it to sound to or yeah to however you want it to sound but you only speak in Simpsons quotes. I was never that big of a Simpsons fan. Like I watched quite a bit of episodes but I went never been like I never seen like every episode ever like I have like Family Guy or anything like that. So I don't think I know any, any of the quotes. So no. Quit texting me. I'm fucking busy. Be granted the power, or be granted the power to see through solid objects, but you can no longer see through transparent objects, such as windows. Ooh. Well, then why the fuck would you need to see through a window? Like, if you're in your house and you can't see outside, like, shit, there's a window in the way. Wait a minute, I'll just go over to the fucking wall. I'll press that button. Oh, wait. What about cars? Well, I mean... I guess I could just break the windshield. Because. Well, no, that, that wouldn't see anything because air is transparent. So you wouldn't be able to see anything ever. So fuck that shit. <clears throat> you will become a god with an almighty power. With an almighty power. So just one. But nobody shall ever know about it or see its effects, and you'll become bored, become bored to do anything. No, this is dumb. You have all the knowledge in the entire universe, but nobody believes what you say. That wouldn't make any sense. Because if you have all the knowledge in the entire universe, you can slowly but surely tell, like, tell everybody the facts. You know, like, okay, why is this incorrect? You know, so you can tell them why they're stupid. So that, I feel like me, like I have a very, very bad problem with stupid people. So I will not, just because I'm pretty sure I'd end up killing someone. I'm trying to explain it to him. You can fly, but at random times without warning, your flying powers will disappear for a minute. Crashing does inflict damage. I will not. I'm already scared of heights. <laughs> you gain the ability to fly, and you have superhuman strength. But, 85% of the world loves Lil Wayne and his music. I will not press that button. I don't even like Lil Wayne that much. He's got some okay music, but he's definitely not my top 5. Probably not even my top 10, if I really thought about it. You can be as rich as you want, but you have a 10% chance to die immediately. So is this like a one-time thing? Like I have one chance. Like if I choose, okay, I want to be rich today, then I have a ten percent chance of dying as soon as I say that, just that one time. Or it's like every day. I get that ten percent chance. I mean, even then, ten percent is pretty good. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> anyway. You become a supreme dictator of the United States. We don't have a supreme dictator. We just have the president. Your subjects are forced to follow your every law and command, and no matter how silly, controversial, or terrible, but after five years, you are stripped of your position, thrown onto the street with nothing but the clothes on your back. Well, that's easily avoidable, cause, because then I could be like, I could make a law that says, hey, I will be here forever. So I'll press that button. Fuck you. I'll get around this. <laughs> Have a well-paid job and a secure future, but you have to work for an immoral government you do not agree with. I do that anyway. <laughs> I do that anyway. You gain the ability to heal people, but you must personally murder your absolute favorite fictional character, who, all, who also happens to be the one immune to your power. Favorite... Fictional. Fictional is fake, I do believe. 
So I think my favorite fictional character. That'd be tough, but I could do so much good, and it's only a fictional character, so. <clears throat> you get, I think it's a million dollars, but the dollar sign is on the wrong side. You get that much money, but every time for the rest of your life, you can go to the nearest library and start screaming until you're thrown out. I don't see a downside to this. I really don't. <laughs> every month. Yeah, it's not like every day I have to go out there. I wouldn't mind that. I'd go to the library and be like, Fuck you, suck my dick, over and over and over until I finally get kicked out. If I yell something really offensive, it won't take very long for them to kick me out. You can read other people's minds, but you can't hear. Okay. That's a good one. Because I love music. I really do and like especially music music and games can be so important but at the same time like reading other people's minds could be kind of scary but really cool but no you will be a famous actor but you only act in slave porn movies as a slave I didn't mean to press the button I don't even know what that means I okay we're I guess we're going with that now assholes <laughs> pressing the button will grant you and your family financial security for life of it for eternity you have you will die a terrible death and everyone you know will know of your death well yeah that's that's kind of how that works like you die everybody's gonna know about it but pressing the button will grant you and your family financial security. That's a good thing though. Like you have to enjoy, endure a gruesome death. But. Your family will never be poor again. I'll take it. You have some incredibly. You have become incredibly attractive to everyone else. But you're hideously disgusting to yourself. Okay. See so that's like a normal thing though. Because a lot of women are like this, and some men are too. You know, they they think like they're really, really ugly. But everyone else around you is like, no, you're 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 beautiful, you're handsome, whatever the case may be. You know, so that just kind of happens. But me, I think I'm all right. I'm not great. I'm not ugly. I'm all right. I might. <laughs> I will not press that button because low self esteem can lead to suicide. You gain the ability to heal others, but any injury, Ill issue, disease you heal is transferred to your own body. Okay, and this is like the same one we had earlier, but it's not like this one's permanent. No. We'll do like three more on the episode. You will have the best marriage ever, but you will no longer have any friends except your family. I'll push it. Who needs anybody but family? You get to have your early childhood back, but you live out on the streets. No. Especially where I grew up. Fuck that shit. You'll be the smartest person on earth, but you'll be permanently drunk. I? Fuck you. Gamer. I don't see a downside to this you're a smart person on earth and you get to be drunk I'll press that button and like I said that's gonna be the last one so as always if you like the video please like subscribe if you have suggestions gameplay tips comments put in the comments section below and I'll see you all in the next episode